all right man what's going on you guys welcome to the channel hey why don't you guys all do me a favor like and subscribe like the video share it with your friends subscribe to the channel i'm on my way to thailand soon this is just an update last update was a month ago uh, i believe we i stated we sold the house and we we're moving along well the buyers backed out so basically i'm here to tell you that the best plan for thailand is no plan so nothing's gone according to plan not at all um we got the house back on the market we had to lower the price on the lot um found out some specs uh would not allow for a duplex to be built so had to lower the price there um and i'm not moved out of the house because that would have been yesterday um that i would have had to have been out I had a closing then, but the buyers backed out. You just can't make any plans for your Thailand relocation plan. You kind of have an agenda, just like I did when I went there for my birthday last year. I had an agenda, but no plan. So, I'm just kind of going with the flow. I'm back on the market. I'm hoping to be out by the end of September. I'm going to file for, un for Social Security in September, three months before I want to collect in December. I'm not going to wait till 65. I'm going to start collecting right away. That's going to add to my little, my budget. So I do need the house and a lot to sell to make this work. So moving along, everything in my house has been sold. I'm down to a TV, a lazy boy, um, and my bed, and the rest of my winter clothes that I need to sell, and some jackets and stuff that are either going to the thrift shop, the animal shelter, donation or sold now i do hope to be out at the end of september but now we got another stick in the spoke as i was being advised by somebody along the way and i was going to have this somebody who was a very good friend at the time he was going to represent my house and, and sell it for me list it well i'm taking him to small claims court long story short he did not get my listing and i went with somebody else so now he is blaming me for him losing my listing which first he lost my trust and my confidence then he lost my listing so now he's blaming me for that so he thinks that's a reason not to pay me well we'll see small claims court here we come and it's going to get worse with this guy. And he's got just two more weeks to reply to the summons. So we'll see where this goes. I'm expecting it to go the distance. He's going to fucking try to screw me. And in doing so, it's going to make matters so worse for this guy. So, that being said, with your Thailand plan, don't make any plans. Just kind of go by what we've all been doing you know, you got to sell everything. It takes a long while to sell it all, especially the house. That's the biggest one. Do I regret selling all my mountain bike and most all my other stuff, like a barbecue and, and even just my townie bicycle and my shop vac? Yes, I do. Because after I sold everything, I absolutely needed them. And I could still use them. So it's very frustrating. Um, wait to sell all your little stuff till the end. Um, I know it takes a while. My friend is selling all his musical equipment to make his move, and he's got big ticket items that he has to sell. So, you know, I sold all my skateboard memorabilia on eBay and made some bank. I made, you know, four or five thousand dollars on eBay selling everything. I sold my record albums, my 45s, my punk rock collection. Uh, you know, I've sold a lot of stuff on eBay, so that helped get me through and then trickling all the stuff away kind of been surviving on that again not according to the plan <sighs> that's the update it's frustrating don't know what's going to happen i'm expecting to have to go to court with my former best friend it's freaking stupid that he's letting it go this far it really really hey, guys, is I thanks for watching hope this helps some of you guys in your journey to thailand it's frustrating i've gone through so many so many emotions over the last several months especially during those months of not being paid and uh, not being paid back and not having money those were very very frightening times i actually saw my whole thailand dream crumbling in front of me because of this guy now i had a couple friends step up one in particular if it wasn't for him i wouldn't be telling you this update it'd be a whole different one some people aren't going to let me lose my dream thailand i'm coming peace out